So we've got one of these. Let's find out if it's really as bad as what people say. Many people slag this car off for one reason or the other, being that this chassis hasn't changed from 2016, but I wanna evaluate that myself and really understand whether it's that bad or whether, whether people are just talking what they don't know and what they don't have. So let's build it quickly and let's take it on the track. Okay, so let's get started with this. Uh, we're starting with a bag A of screws. I'm not gonna do a whole video of building, but I forgot to get bearings. So I have a pack here. So I'm just going to try and fit this in. So let's see how we get on. So this was a pretty fun build, I have to say. I've really enjoyed building this car. There's a couple of um, steps you really have to uh, take an extra care of, especially when it comes to assembling left and right side and overall this uh, diff building is always quite fun as you have to align it rather well i think i should have used a little bit more grease but uh that's by the by uh, what i've had issues with the esc that i've originally received um hasn't been working um since the beginning but i had to um i will order a new one for that because i've already cut the connectors off to make sure I can fit my battery on Dean's but uh, yeah, it, it is what it is, so I'll just have to get a Hobbywing 1060. Uh, the car is complete now, so what you'll see in the reminder of the video is some thoughts on the car, and what will follow is the uh, airbrushing technique, so stay tuned and check out the rest of the video. So I did the front part, we can see we have the steering set up there. And look at this guys, the back part. Really nice, loose, no sanding needed. It looks absolutely great. I'll keep going. Don't forget, depending on which chassis you're planning to build, I'll just go to step down. You may have to for, uh, configure the back post in two different ways. One is here for the S chassis and then for the M chassis it'll go all the way back. So MO5M and MO5S. Important tip. So you can see the car here, the complete build. Sorry, my hands were wet. So I need to glue the tires still. Uh, I have the original shocks, which is what I'll be using. My sand was set up together with a battery. I would just say be careful when you're putting this thing on. Make sure that it's the right size because it will affect quite the trim of your steering. So you don't want your steering to look something like that. Although the servo horn here, it's quite flimsy, but that's normally the case on Tamiya. So I might see if I can put my TTO2... Um, uh, TTO2 servo saver and that so let me know in the comments if, if if that's going to work and apart from that everything is good it's ready to go so I'll paint the shell so we'll do the airbrush now with the uh, Toyota Yaris shell I'll do the video on that how to get it done and then I'll show you what it looks like so I'm excited to run it tomorrow together with my brushless Tamiya for which the video is coming up very soon so make sure you tune in for that Keep the body up a little bit. layer pretty thin right 
Yeah, this is a really thin layer called a mist coat. And that just allows the other paint layers to bond to it. To bond to it, guys. Bonding, that's what it's all about. Bondage. Okay, we can go. Okay, so we're done with the misting now, right? The misting is done. This is done, we're just going to go a little bit thicker this time to try and get in all the little gaps, like the, the lines of the body. Right. Still not going thick, because it's better to paint thin. If you paint too thick, it'll come off. Yeah. That's the problem I've had on my McLaren. With a thick paint, it just um, comes off. On any little bump. We're doing a backing coat now, so we're going to put silver behind the blue to make it sparkle a bit better. So that's instead of white. Silver will give it greater sparkle effect, which because is what we want. Because it's, a tran because it's like a translucent paint, yeah. the silver will come through a little bit in the blue. It's translucent, you can see it there. Okay, so this is silver now. Silver's coming in. And then I think I'm gonna have a go. Find out. Okay guys, so here we go. That's there. Is the paint coming off? I'm holding it incorrectly. Right? Wow, that's working now. I just want to see the paint, but I can't see the paint. It's coming out. So I just have to do it thicker. You don't want it thick, though. You want it thin. Thick paint falls off. I don't see anything. I can see. Is this done, yeah? Okay, so this is done now. It's just going to be dried. And then we'll peel it off and cut it. It's going to look amazing. 